Iran is not about building nuclear weapons. We don't want to build nuclear weapons. We don't believe that nuclear weapons bring security to anybody, certainly not to us. For somebody who comes to U.S. Congress, tries to create this hysteria about something that doesn't exist. We never had a bomb. We will never have a bomb. But as he does have a bomb, he, does have to, he has 200 nuclear weapons. Yeah, all right, that's a great rationalization. I'm waiting for Obama to start saying that, by the way. Uh, joining us now is Matthew Kranick. He's professor of international relations at Georgetown University, senior fellow with the uh, Atlantic Council, and author of a great new book, A Time to Attack, The Looming Iranian Nuclear Threat. There it is on your screen. Uh, professor, welcome, sir. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be on the show. Well, uh, you know, y y a time to attack. Um, what do you make of what Israel's options would be if, in fact, this deal is signed uh, between uh, the, uh, the United States, the other countries, and Iran? Well, I have real concerns with the way the negotiations are headed. It looks like the, the deal we're going to get, if we get a deal, is going to be a, a terrible deal that's going to leave Iran's nuclear capabilities in place, probably makes it more likely uh, in some ways that they get nuclear weapons, not less likely. Um, so uh, in short, it doesn't look like diplomacy is going to solve this problem. Uh, and if diplomacy fails, that means we have two choices, either to live with a nuclear armed Iran, uh, which would be unacceptable, as three uh, successive U.S. presidents have said, or to take military action. And the argument of the book is that if it comes to that, a military strike would be less bad than living with the threats posed by a nuclear-armed Iran. Right, but when you say uh, the negotiations won't work, are you anticipating at this point uh, no deal, or are you anticipating at this point a bad deal? Well, uh, I think it's about 50-50 at this point. Uh, that's what President Obama says, and that's what um, uh, some people, uh, my contacts in Washington say. About a 50% chance we don't get a deal, uh, in which case we go back to where we were before this more moderate uh, President Rouhani was elected. Iran would probably ramp up its nuclear capabilities. We'd have to ramp up sanctions, and we'd likely be on a path to war. Or we get a bad deal, in which case it might buy us some time um, but I don't think it's really going to solve the problem. Uh, Iran would be very likely to, to cheat on that deal or to break out in the future, in which case we're back to this uh, terrible choice. All right. Uh, now, so, so when you, in, your, in your book, you look at this through the uh, scope of, of the United States, or do you also consider, in other words, if there's a, a... See, I'm of the opinion that Barack Obama will sign any deal. And he would then almost dare, and in his heart of hearts, I believe, you, uh, hope, that Israel would then take military action so he could portray them as, as the evil Israel. Um, but if there is a bad deal, I mean, can Israel then sit back and afford to, to wait uh, for, to see how bad it is? Or will they have to be very proactive, perhaps even, in conjunction with their, uh, their Gulf uh, I, uh, Arab neighbors, or dare I say, Arab allies? Yeah. Uh, well, I should say that uh, part of the reason I decided to write this book is that I spent a year uh, doing defense planning for Iran uh, at the Pentagon, and so have um, you know, some experience on defense planning uh, for Iran's nuclear facilities. And um, you know, an important fact to understand is that Israel's military option is just not nearly as good as the American military option. Uh, so if it came time to using force, it would be much better if the United States did it. We, we have superior capabilities. We could inflict lasting damage on the program. Uh, Israel could do some damage, but it wouldn't buy us as much time. It wouldn't dis destroy as much of the program. Uh, so no, I no, but I'm assuming, and I'm working, but Matthew, yeah. with all due respect, I, and I hate to interrupt, I'm just working under the assumption of what the landscape is. Barack Obama is not going to go bomb Iran no matter what. I mean, I, that's just my opinion, and I, 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 I think you'd be hard-pressed to find somebody who says, if these negotiations fail, which I don't think they will, that Obama's next option is he's going to bomb them. That's never going to happen under Barack Obama. So I'm saying if a bad deal is signed or no deal is signed, Israel is going to have to feel that they're going to have to do something. And I'm not debating who would have the, the greater nuclear military capabilities. I'm just saying, what does Israel do? Would Obama deny them air clearance in, in Iraq or worse? Would they combine with their Arab neighbors? What do you think would happen? Well, the Israelis have, have said all along that they wouldn't ask permission if they decided they needed to take uh, military action to stop Iran. They're not going to ask permission. They have conducted military strikes in the past against Iraq's nuclear facilities in 1981, 
against Syrian nuclear facilities in 2007. So they've done this in the past. Um, I think it's unlikely that they would do it immediately after a deal. I think they would give it some time to see how it played out. Um, but there's no doubt in my mind that if, as a last resort, Israel thought that it was its only option to prevent Iran from taking, acquiring nuclear weapons, I do think that Israel would use force uh, as a last resort. All right, Matthew, very interesting conversation. And folks, very interesting uh, book as well. The looming, uh, I'm sorry, A Time to Attack, The Looming Iranian Nuclear Threat. Thank you, sir. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there you go. All right, folks, uh, we're coming back uh, with the Molesberg panel, and we will have a lot to talk about, as we always do. So keep it tuned right here.